Weeks pass, and the Dollies are now far from any shore, venturing into a sea turned magical by night. Microscopic plankton give off an eerie glow. Under cover of darkness, the encodus rest, not quite sleeping. The dollies keep their eyes trained for predators. And one is about to change their life. The Cretaxi rhina is as big and lethal as the great white of our day. It slices its victims into bite-sized chunks using razor-sharp teeth. female and her brother are being watched. But it's their mother who becomes the target. Their mother is gone, but it isn't over. A smaller shark goes after the young female. She's wounded, but she survives the initial charge. Perhaps the shark was not as lucky. Her injury will heal she'll always carry a shark's tooth embedded in her flipper. The two youngsters must now continue on their own. If the female and her brother are going to survive, have to find food and their way in this vast inland sea. Finally, they see something familiar, a school of encodus trailed by other dollies. And by the flightless Hesperornis. But nearly anything in the sea. For several weeks, the travelers push on. The female's flipper is slowly healing, the embedded tooth now surrounded by scar tissue.
young female is drawn away by a potential meal of squid. One escapes among a colony of crinoids, prehistoric relatives of sea stars, perhaps swept up from the bottom by currents. herself directly in the sights. Because dollies are fast, a Tylosaur's best bet is to catch one by surprise. see the danger coming. But why did the predator die so soon after eating the dolly? Talosaurs were likely territorial and aggressive, even with each other. Perhaps an older Talosaur suddenly appeared. Tylosaur is threatened and tiring, slowed down by the large meal in his stomach. The female dolly is forgotten. on with the others. Soon, the scavenging will begin. of her mother and brother, but she survived. Each year, marine reptiles gather again in the birthing grounds of the shallows. Among them is the dolly with the wounded flipper, now fully grown. She's completed her journey and returned to the waters of her birth. And after several seasons, she becomes a mother. Her young will grow larger and stronger, and one day set out on their own journeys through the inland sea. Day by day, month by month, life plays out. She sees several litters of her offspring mature and depart on lives of their own. Eventually, a year comes when the mother can't finish the migration. One quiet day, when old age has weakened her body, her life comes to a gentle end.
millions of years worth of days and nights and seasons pass as she lies.